What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Now, I've been kind of revisiting cigars recently that I haven't smoked in a while and just kind of re reaffirming how good they were the first time I tried them and see if they've got even better with a little bit more time and aging in our humidor. So I was down there today and I was having a look through, seeing what we've got and these guys just jumped out at me. They were looking super smooth, super oily. All of those flavors were coming to the surface and I just wanted to grab one and get involved in it today. So today I am sampling the Ramon Iones Small Club Corona. Now I adore this cigar. It's a four and three eighths by 42 ring gauge cigar, semi box pressed because they kind of expand and they kind of relax in the boxes, those boxes of 25 and the boxes of 10. They just relax in those boxes and you get these nice kind of semi soft box press, slightly rounded and it makes for an interesting mouthfeel in my opinion. Now, I, I'm i gonna say it's been about a year since I've sampled one of these previously and I just remembered them being the perfect kind of middle of the afternoon cigar. And one of those cigars that pairs perfectly with a soft drink, a nice fresh lemonade with a Ramon Iones is chef's kiss beautiful. But I wanna get into this one today, but let's see what the wrapper's offering at the moment. So I'm getting straw, I'm getting hay, I'm getting those barnyard notes, those quintessential barnyard notes. But there's a little bit of zestiness coming through there, a nice kind of orange citrus peel zestiness that's coming off the wrapper. I'm gonna get into this one today. I'm gonna to get this one cut and lit. I might go for a V cut, because I've been going for straight cuts quite, uh, quite a lot recently. So I'm gonna give it this one a V cut. Beautiful cap, almost flattened on the cap, so the V cut works perfectly. It cuts that nice channel. You get that little bit more surface area for the smoke to really hit your palate and really divulge into the flavors. But let's stop talking. Let's get into the first third of this one and see if these are just as good as I remember. So breaking my way into the first third on this one today and the beautiful notes that I've been getting straight off the bat are very toasted. And I mean toasted peanuts, toasted almonds, and also kind of toasted marshmallows. There's this nice rounded creamy sweetness that's coming through and it's, it's offering really thick plumes of smoke that are filling my palate and offering me those flavors and an incredibly long finish. This is just lasting and lasting and lasting between puffs. Now I am outside and it's a little bit of a breeze. The burn line was slightly off, but it has started to self rectify. The ash is still holding considerably well con uh, considering the breeze. But it's really, really enjoyable. Gone for the V-cut on there, as I said. I'll see if the camera can pick that up. And uh, that's given me a little bit more surface area for those flavors to really build up. And I'm getting, like I said, incredible plumes of smoke off this one. It's filling the balcony with beautiful toasted notes. It's almost reminiscent of being around the campfire and having those toasted marshmallows with the crackers and the chocolate. And I'm kind of thinking, okay, this used to be my kind of middle of the afternoon cigar, but is this kind of the nice, perfect evening round the fire, just relaxing and unwinding? You know, a little half an hour of bliss could be perfectly timed as we move in towards the, uh, into the warmer months and the, it's starting to get lighter in the evenings as well, which I'm a massive fan of. Smoking in the, in the dark is never fun at all. So taking advantage of those, those nice warmer evenings is definitely gonna be the one for this one. So I'm gonna take my way down a little bit further, probably stop just below the band and see what that middle third transitions into. But these are definitely, I'm gonna say even better than I remember. These ones have definitely got the, the kind of rougher edges knocked off them. It's definitely sitting more light to medium in terms of flavor, but the strength wise is, there's a little bit of a kick in there. There's definitely some spicier notes that are trying to creep through, but they're not being overwhelmed, but they're being overridden by those nice toasted, nuttier notes and that nice marshmallow that's coming through. So I'm gonna take this one down a little bit further, see what the middle's got to offer. And uh, yeah, I'll come back with an update soon. So I'm just coming up to about the halfway point on this one today, and the flavors have really surprised me. Um, that kind of toasted almond note that I was getting in the first third has progressed and changed and stayed as prominent as it was but it's progressed into more of a of a kind of I want to say it's almost like marzipan-esque but with this nice cherry sweetness coming through and the only thing I can kind of connect it to or relate it to is like a like a cherry bakewell and hopefully the seagulls don't hear that and try and come and attack me but yeah like this nice cherry bakewell there's sweetness there's doughiness there's that almondy note coming through and there's that nice little tart note of the cherry coming through it's just a really really beautiful experience for me today ash is still holding incredibly well it did self rectify on the burn so that's coming in almost bang on razor sharp so i'm gonna, gonna get the band off take this one down a little bit further see if there's any transitions as i make my way through the middle third and if not i'll come back in the final third and give you an update on where things are at that point but 
this is definitely going to be one one of those ones if you haven't smoked one of these in a long time you really want to now they are smoking incredibly well pick up a few you won't regret it but let's take this one down a little bit further i'm really hoping that the sun comes out because this is going to be the perfect kind of finish to a lovely afternoon for me today but join me in a few seconds and let's see what this one's got so as i'm making my way down through the final third of this one the flavors of um darkened and intensified so it's moved more into a medium sort of edging around medium to full in terms of strength today and i think it's just that smaller vitola that smaller ring gauge does tend to offer more intensity as you get down to the final third i'm getting some nice charred woody notes in there some cedar um that kind of cherry bakewell note that was uh in the middle third has drifted away it's still it's in the background you can kind of pick it out if you're really paying attention but this has just been a really really beautiful beautiful experience for me today this kind of aging that these cigars have had in our humidors so if you're able to get some that have had a had a couple of years of time on them they're definitely going to knock off those more rougher edges and offer some really unique notes but this has just been really really beautiful i've probably got another 10 minutes or so left on this one today but i really want you guys to grab some of these